Mechanical engineering was one of the original departments established in 1910 for the College of Engineering. Mechanical engineers focus on the transfer of energy, such as work and heat, through mechanical systems. Mechanical engineering to me means taking one form of energy and transferring it into another form. From chemical energy to mechanical energy to thermal energy, those sorts of things. So a, a car is a good example. You got all sorts of different forms of energy going on inside of a car. You know, all the pieces on a car would be designed by a mechanical engineer from the, uh, for example, the steering mechanism, everything that controls the car, the engine itself, the air conditioning system, and all the fuel systems and everything else are mechanical engineers. Aerospace engineering is kind of many of the same principles except it's more geared towards um, objects moving through air and you know how to make something fly. Aerospace engineering is a field of study concerning the design and construction of aircraft and spacecraft. Aerospace engineering can be broken down into two disciplines. One would be aeronautical engineering, which is mechanical engineering applied to airplanes, and the other would be uh, an astronautical engineer, which would be which applies to spacecraft and uh, space systems, things like that. Aerospace engineering defines our current era of exploration. It means venturing where no one's ever gone before. So mechanical and aerospace engineering degrees are pretty closely related to each other. So with only nine extra credit hours, you can actually get both degrees uh, at the university. So uh, some people can do it in four years. I'm taking a little bit longer doing it in five, but uh, like whatever works for you. One of the labs you'll take in your undergraduate career is the Thermo and Fluids Lab. And in these two labs, um, we take the principles that you would have learned in uh, heat transfer and thermodynamics and fluid mechanics and apply them to uh, real systems. For example, this one I'm sitting here in front of right now is uh, what we call our pool boiling lab. And in this lab, we learn how to calculate the heat flux from a heater inside uh, some kind of a liquid. There's like an air conditioning unit that you can work with and learn how that works. There's a, uh, a water rocket experiment that you can uh, run. Um, we have uh, heat exchangers in there that you can work with. And uh, from an aerospace standpoint, one of the most exciting things is uh, we actually have a wind tunnel that's in there that's specifically for undergrads to use at the university. So it, it's subsonic, so it's a little bit slower than you know the supersonic wind tunnel that's uh, in MAEA, but it's, uh, it's still pretty cool. And we do a lot of testing in there for student organizations and for classes and stuff. Mechanical engineering here at the University of Florida is the largest department we have here. And it encompasses so much because mechanical engineering as a discipline is so broad and is so expansive that there's really so much you can do. For instance, you can blend electrical and mechanical engineering to work on robotics, or you can blend mechanical and biomedical engineering to work on prosthetics. We draw on all the disciplines from all the other engineering uh, fields also. We're not electrical engineers, but we use uh, electrical engineering in our work. We use civil engineering, we use chemical engineering, uh, we use computer engineering. So it's a very broad field. Uh, it integrates a lot of different disciplines. And so it, no matter what you're interested in, you can find something out of there in mechanical or aerospace engineering.